Hi, this is Robin Heppel with Funeral Website Q&A. Don't have your website questions avoided. Get them answered at FuneralFuturesWebsites.com. Today's question is, should I display funeral and merchandise pricing on my funeral home's website or not? The answer is yes. Next question. No, I'm just kidding. Not about the answer though. The answer is yes. This is the information highway. People are looking for information on the internet. And prices is one of the information, one of the pieces of information that they want. So by not providing it, they're probably thinking that you're going to hide something. And now I know that you're thinking, oh, but I just want to be able to justify or I just want to be able to explain my prices. We'll, we'll get to that. We can do that. But I think we need to separate your question here a bit. Uh, and let's talk about merchandise first. Caskets, urns, vaults, they're commodities. We have to realize that they're a commodity. Those can get shopped around. So if you're going to have those prices online, uh, I hope that you have taken the pricing strategy of focusing on your funeral services and having just a very nominal markup on your merchandise. Some of the corporations are doing this already and to, to, with success. And, and by doing so, Costco, internet retailers will not be an issue. Now that we've got merchandise looked, at, looked after, let's talk about your funeral services. A question that I get often is, but I'm more expensive and, my, and I want to be able to justify my prices. Well, I think we need to be transparent. So yes, have your GPL on your price, on your website, but also have some other form of dialogue. And just like the, the, and just like the success of the 24 hour free recorded message or the information hotline, have the same concept on your website. And so what I would suggest is actually on the different pages, break apart your services. And so for your traditional service, have that information there and have the price there. And then maybe have a picture of yourself and have a audio button and just say, click here for an explanation of these services. Well, if they're looking for information, they're going to listen to you and you'll then be able to talk to them for even five minutes, just explaining what all of the things that that this service package provides. And also in there, you can sprinkle in the different things that, that make you different without directly identifying your competition, but make sure you differ, differentiate yourself from them. And also, you're, you're starting to build a relationship with that person listening. And why this is better than having them phone you, first of all, it's a specific presentation. You've planned it out, you've recorded it, maybe you've edited it, you've uh, taken out some of the uhs or ums, and and then you'll be able to, if you're saying this on your website, it comes across as being more, more authentic. And the other thing is that they can also listen to that over and over again. You know what it's like. People will phone you and you talk to one person, you explain it to them. They've taken a bunch of notes and they go back to the kitchen table and there's five people there. And now it's up to them to try to justify to pick your funeral home. But you're $500 or $700 or $1,000 more expensive. Why not have the ability for all of them to listen to your message over and over again? So you can do this with every one of your service offerings. For more information about funeral home websites, visit FuneralFuturistWebsites.com. And for more information about funeral home marketing, visit FuneralFuturistMarketing.com. And if you have a question, email it to me at questions at FuneralFuturist.com. This is Robin Heppel.